Uh, do, do you know how we're going to deal with Jeff's uh, uh, absence in Dungeons and Dragons terms? Should we, should we just like play him? You know, kind of put him on autopilot, so to speak. We and... could. We could just pretend he's like napping. Um, I could play <laughs> him. Um, yeah, like usually it's like either someone else plays him, the dungeon master plays him, or he's suspiciously absent. Why don't you play him? All right. I think that'll be fun. Okay. It happens. Thanks. I get to be a character for once. Yeah. I don't know. You know, let's, you know, all of a sudden you climb into someone's Ferrari and show them how, what it can do. Yeah. Jeff plays him pretty well, to be honest, in terms of combat and stuff. Why don't you marry him? Um, well... He's in a relationship, I think, right? That's the only reason. That is the only reason. All right. Minneapolis! Harmontown is now in session. Please welcome to the stage the person who is going to make the next the best day of your life, Mr. Dan Harmon! Yeah, festival! 
a new tradition. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, yeah, there were like eight things that rhymed in there. It was very good. That was really good. Yeah. I, 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 none of them were mouth and south. <laughs> and you, you really used your floor, floor space. Yeah, yeah. I'm for the pot, dancing, and they're generally meant for it. I'm doing really, really good at dancing and rapping. <laughs> I started the tour just going like this, but but now I got like I kind of like put some stopping and starting into it. Like I'm gonna go somewhere and then I can't. Uh, Amazing. It does. I get out of breath sooner though doing that because. <laughs> It's like a treadmill. Um, uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dan's, a, Dan's a great dancer, though. Before we were dating, uh, there was a night that we spent uh, last, last New Year's with Dave, Jeff Davis, and he put on a song and asked you to dance to it. Is it Surfer Baby? Surfer Girl? Surfer Baby, that song. Uh, little, 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 little Surfer little, Girl. Little Surfer Girl. Dan put on a little dress and danced around the living room very sensuously. I'm sorry, Dan. Uh, uh, I mean, it sounds weird on paper. <laughs> I'm doing, I, what, okay, so why, what, that's why the, that's on your way to a comedy show load up your iPad with gongs and foghorns? <laughs> your boyfriend's show. Ah, let's see, do I got everything in here that I want? Uh, a uh, 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 rim shot. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Who needs that? I'm sorry. Uh, uh, uh. Was that a baby crying? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a baby crying because everyone loves the milk of the show. <laughs> And baby the, the, the baby crying reminds everyone that this show is like milk that you need when you're a baby, and you can only digest breast milk, and that's right. that's the idea. Right, right. <laughs> I, th I thought I thought it was a six million year old sound that makes people uncomfortable. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I thought that it was a primal, instinctive people upsetter. <laughs> Because it means that one of our species larvae is exposed to a saber-toothed tar tiger. <laughs> you know, babies cry like that because human babies, we don't have, they don't have fur. Uh, our, our primate cousins, like, they're, they're covered with this thick layer of fur, like orangutan babies. They, uh, um, uh, they, uh, the babies, they kind of, they come out and they basically, like, they just cling to the mom. Uh, like her fur, and they kind of like they, they walk around. They just they just clung there forever. It's like a little baby Bjorn until the baby like finally lets go and starts doing its own thing. And and, and a lot of a lot of primates like have similar things like that. Like they just cling and wrap around. And, Tell uh, me more about it. <laughs> primates, monks, super monkeys. Very funny guy. Big old brain up in the monkey head. Don't fight, they think instead, they make fire. Sorry, I guess that, that was great, but you gave me a look like I was that. Yay! Uh, I, don't know, I, don't know, I don't know if Jeff would have right if you were at that point. <laughs> You're right, I give myself this noise. It's, it's a noise of someone alone at a party. Uh, <laughs> Okay, reset. <laughs> Anyways, uh, babies cry because, uh, yeah, they're m moms. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up my flow, man. I'm sorry. The ba a human baby just like has an instinct. If you walk away from it, it just starts crying. Like as soon as it loses sight of a, of a big person to protect it, it just starts going. <laughs> um, which on one hand is a horrible thing to like, draw predators, but human babies require constant protection from the. Uh, the parents, and so the baby has a catastrophic response to the absence of its adult guardians. And the game of peekaboo, I always talk about this, is uh, uh, the mom hides her face from the baby, which the baby instinctively is, is, is designed to recognize as a catastrophe, that the face is gone, but, but kind of senses, like, I think I can see the, 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 uh, the, the, the Brechtian narrative here. Uh, they, 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 I can see that she's still there, but I lost the face. And then the mom opens the face and goes like, woo, peek -a And the baby goes, wait, she knows? Like, she knows what, that I, I, I wanted to die? And, she, and, and like, like, she's fucking around with it? Like, it must not be that, that big a deal. Like, it's like, it's like a, you know, it's like, it's like that first time you see Mel Brooks do a Hitler joke, you know? And you kind of like, just get a big belly laugh and you know, <laughs> okay, we have to talk about 
I don't understand what you brought in your sound effects arsenal and what, 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 what your intention Look, was. There's a doctor named Dr. Sound Effects. <laughs> First of all, I that's not true. Um, there's probably a website called Dr. Sound Effects, but I don't think anyone's ever gotten a PhD in uh, what you're doing right now. <laughs> It's, uh, okay, I'll, 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 I'll cool it on the sound effects. Well, no, you, you don't have to do that. I'd, I'd like you to refine I your don't? targeting. Well. I mean, a slide whistle? <laughs> Sorry, that was okay, a bad puppy. A no, I'll, I'll really, I'll really cool a, a it. a puppy being stepped on. Hey, do you have rabbit skinning in there? Because uh, I, I, I was going to tell my, my duck joke. Uh, <laughs> I, um, she's, a good, she's a good kid. Um, she's, she's, she's having a good time. Um, uh, hey, I want to, I want to, um, I want to, I want to bring Spencer out sooner than later. Cause All right. Bring up Spencer! Advanced third edition Spencer. <laughs> Sorry. Hey! Spencer, can you believe it? Spencer has been my, my buddy on this tour. We've done uh, merch together and uh, spent a lot of time together. And here I am with a bunch of sound effects, making, making, uh, making a show happen. Thanks for holding down the merchandise table uh, back there, Spencer. Yeah, thank you very much, Spencer. Yeah, Minneapolis is a self lining up uh, city, I guess. You guys were great. Yeah, are they, are they, yeah they seem like good people. I, I really sense that. Uh, by this time in Madison, somebody had already, for the sixth time, just gone like, Pringles! <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, diabetes! <laughs> you were there because it has a podcast chat, yeah. It was like, don't you diabetes! And then I have to go, because the uh, acoustics, were, uh, acoustics were bad, and then I go, what? Like, don't cheer diabetes! <laughs> no one was going to. <laughs> Don't stop the show. I mean, it, 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 we welcome like people with things to get off their chest, but uh, like it's not it's not a hockey game. And if it was, cheering diabetes isn't isn't competing with anyone. There's no there's no there's no match that's going to be lost between that team and anyone. Yeah, but I love the idea of someone with diabetes just wanting to be represented. Or like someone in the audience screaming out, arthritis. <laughs> Do something about arthritis! Carpal tunnel! <laughs> Lupus! <laughs> Restless leg! <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, does anyone have a, an ailment that they want Dan to discuss? Irritable bowel syndrome? What? Irritable bowel syndrome? IBS? I mean, uh, <laughs> IBS writes itself. Let's, uh, <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you have in the front row, sir? Plantar fasciitis, is, nice. that, is that related to what, what is your name, sir? I'm going to do what Jeff does. What is your name? I'm Tony. Ah, uh, Tony, come on up here. <laughs> here, Tony. Uh, 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 yeah, anything you don't want to talk about, you don't have to talk about it. But Harvard Town is a safe place. I, I, I appreciate that. Tony, Tony, first of all, Tony is wearing a Red Owl uh, uh, t-shirt. <laughs> That was, uh, that was the local grocery store in Milwaukee when I was a uh, kid. It was the local grocery store in Green Bay when I was yeah. a kid. Do they still exist? One, and it's in Green Bay. Oh. It's still fighting for its existence. That logo, like, it just stirs up like it's, uh, I, haven't, I haven't seen what, it so What kind long. of stuff do they have at the Red? Oh, God, milk, um, eggs. <laughs> you, know, you, some you just wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Sometimes they put it in bags for you. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. Aisles and aisles of food with Is it not successful lip. because Red Owl kind of sounds like a hate group? Uh, <laughs> don't be insulted. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh baby, open that shirt. Red, 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 Owl, red Owl sounds more, more like a reverse hate group, like a, like a, like an appre like a kind of a militant, like. Uh, we are yeah, the well, it sounds, yeah. Like, it it sounds like a very yeah, yeah. wise a socialist organization. Yeah, we're tired. Like, 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 like in Latin, it says never again over the. And it refers to something that happened to the red people. Never again will we let a sail pass us by. The red owl. Uh, the red spill, the, the, somebody spilled some milk in aisle seven and we never forgot. <laughs> uh, all right, what's plantar fasciitis? Uh, I'll, I'll give you one guess. It's, uh, 
It's, 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 when, it's when every piece of fungus on your foot unites in a horrible uh, Naziistic uh, regime. <laughs> Which the red owls are fighting. Right. You know, it is foot related, but it is not fungus related. It's yeah. severe scarring of the large tendon that runs under your foot. Oh, no. Yeah, and it, it makes you limp, and it makes you look like you're 20 years older than you actually are. Wait, what you, wait uh, you, you mean your, your, your gait it doesn't actually have the effect on you? Do, do you have it? Yes, I do. Okay, so you're not eight. Uh, uh, you, you just mean it makes you walk like you're 20 years old. Yeah, it gives you the hobbling gait of a 60-year-old man. Can you show us? Oh, I'm trying to be Thank you. Uh, do, some, do some, give us a, give us a, some, a little <laughs> runway. We're gonna have him walk. Well, I, I should give you some, some walking music, I guess. Right now it's in remission. <laughs> right now it's in remission. So I used to walk like normal people, and which was back and forth. And then it struck, and it's time, it's time to get up and you use your foot, and it feels like this. Oh. Oh, because, because the, the tendon, tendon is like, like not doing what it's supposed to do. do. Like, no. So you have to sit down a lot, and people ask you, why are you so lazy? Oh, and you're like, fuck you, I have a spray of spider. And they go, is that have something to do with fungus? <laughs> no. He, he, he played, played that song again. Yeah, I was really moved. <laughs> Tony's foot, I love you. <laughs> Your tendons been eaten away. Fuck Tony, the world chose you. Don't be beaten today. Double rhyme scheme. That was A B A B. No one was impressed. All right. I was damn impressed. Okay. Uh, never mind, fuck it, no. You know what, I have worse than, uh, uh plantar spastitis. I have, I have, I have, I have audience unappreciated tits I wish I just couldn't walk. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't be appreciated. Um, that, that's the disease that infects, like, the lower base of the brain and makes further audience applause completely jaded and meaningless? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it totally undermines anything you get after that. Yeah. It's, 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 it's linked to solicited applause syndrome, yeah. That's, that's if, if, Dan was a, yeah. if Dan was a, if Dan was a revival tent preacher, someone would come up and say, I can't walk, and would be like, really? Because I had a really difficult morning. <laughs> I was really in my head. I thought a lot about my life, and I didn't know if I, I've done enough so far. I'm gonna sit down. Well, Tony, I have a very special surprise for you. Because here in the audience here in Minneapolis, Twin Town, as I call it, is a, a fellow castaway from an old improv trip I used to be in in Milwaukee called the Bear Watch. Uh, one of my old comedy stage partners, Sean McKenna, is here. Let's bring Sean McKenna to the stage! Uh, Sorry. Yeah. Jesus, sweetie, what is happening? You're, you're like... Uh, stroke. Holy I'm having a stroke. It's, it's, like, it's, it's like, like, like the second act of RoboCop 2 up okay. here. <laughs> we just, just shooting fire hydrants and giving candy to bank robbers. This is this after King took them apart and put them together? Don't, don't, don't scrutinize my knowledge of RoboCop 2. I wasn't scrutinizing this. Here it comes. It's, it's when, when they reprogrammed him, you know, and then he was like, you know, I don't know, you kids can rob the store on RoboCop 2. It's a shitty movie. Don't, don't smoke. <laughs> oh, hey, Dan, I think someone's at the door. It's Sean McKenna. <laughs> Tony, I'll get it. Here's the amazing thing. Look, Tony. Sean McKenna also can't walk. Oh my God. He broke his ankles walking on ice. Which Sean is McKenna, if you don't know, was also a member of the Dead Alewives. Yeah. Uh, thank you to the three people. Never heard of us. Sean, Sean tonight just became the first member of the Harmontown Art Players. <laughs> And, uh, and, 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 let's, and we should probably bring Eric Noel up, too. He's in the audience. Oh, hell yeah. 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 I thought he was safe Nola. back there. Very funny gentleman. Did he start in the Atlas? Uh, how many starts? I can't remember what city. He's, he started it, yeah. No, it started in it. Oh, started in it, yeah. He's also uh, working with the oh, huge Oh, someone's at the door. 
that, oh, shit, Durbo's broken. <laughs> oh, it's the second member of the Herman Earth, or Herman Earth players, Eric Knowles. Okay, Eric all right. Let's, let's thank Tony and have him limp down the, uh, to, the, to the front row. Thank you, Tony. Yeah. That ain't shit. Sorry, Dan, that was a controlling moment. Shit, Dan. Shit, Dan. Um, <coughs> Trump on it, too. Oh, that's cool. Um, I can't hear that. Tony, uh, what, what, uh, what, 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 what would you, what would you, uh, what, 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 what do you want more than anything in the world? I don't know, just name something you like. Uh, the newest season of Doctor Who soon. Okay, all right, perfect. Tony, Tony would like the newest season of Doctor Who to come sooner, and, uh, he has plantar fasciitis, which, uh, it erodes the plantar fasciitis. It erodes the tendon uh, on his foot and makes him walk uh, silly. <laughs> I guess I'll be playing him. Uh, probably a good idea. Uh, okay. It's, 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 uh, uh, this is a Hallmark movie. Uh, okay. It's, uh, it's a movie of the, of, of the weak and of the heart. Uh, give us Got a it. No, no. See yes. this? It should okay. go a bit, but not very far. One foot to walk on. <laughs> Mom, I'm home. Tony, is that you? Yeah, Mom. I'm here in the kitchen mixing chocolate icing in a bowl like you like it. Mom. Tony. You're walking like a fucking idiot. <laughs> You're holding your titty in your hand, huh? <laughs> I mean, that's my bowl of frosting. So to speak. Put your titties in it. <laughs> well, I told you it's like you like it. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. That's why I've stayed here 25 years. I brought somebody home with me. He's a fellow member of the Doctor Who Society oh. at school. Keith, I mean, hello, stranger. Yes, I've never been here before. It's your home. Um, is that a titty in a in a bowl? Uh, uh, yes, that must be completely. I wouldn't know it if I saw it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mom. Um, Mom, just be cool. Oh, my new friend is here. <laughs> Because I'm really gimpy. <laughs> and I got a big beard. Tony, really, I'm on the clock here. I don't oh, really yeah. deal with gimps, you know, well, terribly often, right? You, you, you two probably, probably want your privacy. I'll, I'll, I'll go, go to the living room and watch. No, 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 no. Why don't you, why don't you stay? <laughs> I'll leave. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, hurry it up, Tony. Seriously. <laughs> what is, are you gonna try to go up those all those stairs right now? Is that what you're gonna do? There's like 21 stairs, Tony. I got it. Just grab my homemade TARDIS. You have to come back down those stairs. At some I'm point. upstairs now. It's a podcast. The, the next day at the hospital. I don't understand this the soundtrack at all. <laughs> Mr. 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 Scott. Tony. <laughs> Tony Scott. Tony Scott. Yes. <laughs> too 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 soon. I tried to kill myself. <laughs> it's, it's, it's too too soundtrack. With the songs. This is a binary movie. Can I make you a drink? Uh, Mr. Scott, I'm afraid you have plantar fasciitis. 
it, it means you it means you'll never be able to walk normally again. And please don't get to watch the next season of Doctor Who here. <laughs> Tony, there's something I have to tell you. Watching, Watching Doctor, Doctor Who is what's eating away the tendon of your foot. <laughs> you see, British sci-fi programming stimulates a part of the brain that sends a signal to the athletic portions of the body, <laughs> causing them to wither. I told my mother. Uh, yeah, I, I mentioned it. I'm, do, do we have a mother? Uh, 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 have I met her? Uh, uh, everyone met my mother. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I'm sure I told her I, if I met her. I can't remember. Just cut it off. Okay. okay. I'll never dance again. I'm going to do it with a lightsaber. <laughs> Because if I did it with a sonic screwdriver, your other foot would start to rot away. Maybe if you put it in a teleport machine with a good leg. I don't know, it was a fly reference. No one's seen that. <laughs> well, let's, let's try it. Oh, I puked on it. <laughs> okay. the, the fly. There we go. <laughs> Um, sorry, sorry, the Germans, the Germans are coming. <laughs> uh, the Tony story, everybody! The Tony story! Okay. <laughs> Thank God. What a point to them. Yeah. Good, good, good job. job. All right. Wow. Freestyle! Minneapolis style! <laughs> Do the... Oh, oh, shit. Yeah! What? Beast, what? Beast what? Beast style. What? Yep, 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 yep. Sean McKenna, living up here. He's gonna live around and have another beer. He's Sean McKenna from back in Milwaukee, yo. He fucked his mama so hard, then he rolled her in some dough and fucked her in the tummy like the Pooh's boy. He fucked his mama so hard, his dick felt like a toy. Sean McKenna, the one town. Who's gonna be Adam? Who's gonna be Arnold? I don't know. 
You know, Which one does he have it? Was well, he the let's, old I, I'd like to see Sean McKenna as Arnold Schwarzenegger. I, I would like to. Can, let's do Arnold and Arnold. Like that would be really All right. Good. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, this is it really. Yeah. Yeah, you need full focus on this mentally. Oh, I just need something to lean on. Right. And now presenting uh, the Harmontown players, Arnold and Arnold. <laughs> Arnold. Ah, listen. Oh, uh, I got the baseball team. Uh, Okay, then tell them to me. Who is on first? Okay, I don't understand what you're saying. Who is on first? Okay, well, why would someone that named who be on first? Who is on first? Okay, well, well that's a dumb name. <laughs> I don't know. So on second. Short end of tonight's stick. It kind of came up and, uh, and, and uh, yeah, we didn't really. Uh, Someone should really control this show. Yeah, we didn't, we, didn't, we, didn't really, we didn't really use it. Uh, he's very, he's very talented, very funny, very Maybe handsome, very handsome too. Yeah, yeah, his brother's very too. handsome. Uh, <laughs> Spencer, uh, 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 I'm being attacked by. What's that? I'm being attacked by an Arnold monster. Okay. Someone yelled out. Someone approaches you. He's about uh, four foot seven or so. He pushes small children out of his way and says, Get to the top up! All right. You want to hit that, that Spencer theme when you, when, when, when you do that? It's your first I'm, to, I'm, I'm, having a, I'm having iPad troubles. Yeah, I'm not so good at references as Joe Court Paul. Oh, there it is, okay. Yeah, no, yeah, we don't like to do the, the no, Hollywood stuff with Spencer. Sorry. So Spencer, to have Spencer grew up in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a basement that he still lives in, so there's no TV in there. It's just Dungeons and Dragons books. And, and like, I'm like, he's, 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 uh, he's a genius. Um, Spencer, I'm being attacked by, um, uh, shit. Lack of sound engineering skills. Walking into a non-acoustically tuned space, you suddenly realize that the variables aren't exactly lining up right. You clap your hands, and hear your hands clapping. It's a strange sensation. By a, uh, by a, uh, uh, a, 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 uh, hot dish. Oh, sorry, what? A hot dish. A hot dish. A big attack by a hot dish. Is that a colloquialism? <laughs> oh, a big, it's a casserole. I'm being attacked by a, by a hot it's casserole. A casserole. Unfurling the noodles widely with an array of various meat sauces. You see the ricotta cheese dripping off the noodles. Dinner is served. <laughs> yeah, is, one, one, guy, one guy initiated the standing up for that. Uh, and he wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't, you know, he's not, he's not a bad guy. He wasn't, he wasn't applauding a casserole. <laughs> he, was, he was applauding Spencer's DM skills. Um, all right, so, uh, uh, all right, uh, is there anybody in the audience? Uh, I'm gonna go out and work the crowd. You got, uh, Cool. You, got, you got some crowd working on music? In the meanwhile, uh, I'm going to play Polar Bear on Ice. <laughs> Because uh, these people come and they don't have to, oh, is this what I sound like back here? <laughs> Weird. It's like those uh, Discovery World exhibits where you talk on the phone and 
and you hear yourself in a peer but on a delay, I can't, mm -hmm. I can barely pull it together back here. Like, my, my lips move, and then a second later, I hear my lips move. It probably sounds less exciting on the podcast. It probably sounds less exciting for everybody. This is just for me right now. Three hours later, wow, red leather, yellow leather. Uh, what's your name? Sam. No, it's not. <laughs> Crowd working. Sam. Sam, did your parents hit you? I don't remember. Yes. Hot like, like with with uh, implements. My dad hit me with a belt. Your mother hit you with implements? I don't know. He said your mother hit you with implements. Um, I, said, I said, did they hit you with implements? My dad, for instance, hit me with a belt. Did your did your parents hit you with anything? A wooden spoon or? Um. Uh, uh, no, I think uh, the more heavy. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Um, hey, uh, hey, Dan. Yeah. Um, I have a bunch of animal sound effects up here that are pretty obscure. I'm going to uh, play an animal sound effect. You pick, you, you pick a partner out there, and you guys can try to guess what the animal sound effect is um, as, a, as an experiment. OK. I'll, 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 I like Sam. <laughs> All right. Are we competing? Am I competing with Sam? Um, no, well, let, let's see. A uh, uh, gentleman with the, uh, the checkered, yes, yes, you, holding, holding your shirt. What's your name? Max. Max? Max? Max. <laughs> oh, it's Matt, like the actual name. Oh, okay, <laughs> got it. Because Max isn't a name. Would you, would you run up and join Spencer? Would you be Spencer's partner? <laughs> Welcome to Guess the Sound Effect. <laughs> Slash, uh, uh, I'm so sorry that your dad hit you. <laughs> but he didn't really. I mean, he's, yeah. He didn't he, really? I think they just probably smacked, smacked him in the butt and he touched the stove or something. <laughs> Wait, what? We're, we're talking about, I was talking about your dad. Oh, my dad? Yeah. 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 He knocked me around back. Okay. Um, I was going to say, if your dad didn't hit you, why am I turned on by you all the time? <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Animal sound effects. Uh, and just to give you an example, um, this animal sound effect is called a uh, dingo fight. Dingoes. <laughs> Fighters. Wait, where is that? Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. Dingoes? Anyway, that's, that's dingo fight. Okay. All right, okay. Uh, here we go. I'm going to play a sound effect. And uh, the, the team to get closest to it, the quickest, Quins. Don't know why I said it like that. It's fancy. <laughs> I, just, I just made it like I was a Jewish man at a deli for no reason. All right, here we go. Name an animal. The teapot bird. Sorry? It stands for the teapot bird. Teapot bird? No. Uh, swarming, swarming um, uh, June bugs. That's pretty close. It was Fly Swarm and Roebuck Bay, Australia. Very good. One point to audience dwellers. OK, let's, let's play to two. <laughs> All right, here we go. Question number two. I know you're, that you're listening to this podcast. Um, we need look. to edit this part out. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 as a rule, I edit all the stuff out that the audience is able to do in their car on the way here. <laughs> um, Jeff, I'll do better. It's going to get better. All right, here we go. Howler monkey. Nope. Uh, non-halogen. Fur. Reese, kind of fur. Rhesus macaque. 
Uh, uh, like, uh, I know what that is. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a one of those little uh, fuckers. A fox. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a double weasel. It's, you guys were close with Gibbon. Gibbon. Gibbon it goes to the stage chief in the yeah. order. Yeah. 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 And you win not having to talk to me about this bit after the show. <laughs> it's not, you know, everyone's free to fail here in Harvard Town. It's not, you're not supposed to uh, come up with a, a game show on the fly. That's not your responsibility, baby. <laughs> <laughs> baby, I love you. I love you too. Someone booed love. <laughs> I heard one guy boo love. Who was it? Oh, okay. All right, what's your name? Josh. Bring him up to the stage. Josh booed love. Come on up, Josh. Let's go. I may be bad with sound effects, but I can fucking tough love all day. All right. Do it. Let's play a segment called Who Hurt You? <laughs> <laughs> Let's also play a segment called no, None of Your Friends Would Hold Your T-Shirt. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I bought one. No, no, it's okay. I'm sorry, Josh? Yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah, okay. All right, do Josh. It. Jeff writes down everybody's name on it. Who hurt you, Josh? I don't think anybody does. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, why boo love? <laughs> why not? <laughs> Seems, seems are, are, you, are you booing our love specifically, or just love in general? No, I don't know. Your love kind of destroyed an episode. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mr. Were, were you bummed out that there was one less uh, free episode that was funny? <laughs> <laughs> Well, is that was it? Is it is it more or less awkward than not communicating with people? Like if we're like five questions deep into a conversation and every answer is I don't know or nothing or like, like or, or, or or a snarky comeback. Like is that graceful or is that you don't know, do you? Uh, I, I come from the from the mind space that it's like it's better to go with the flow and kind of like like say what's on your mind. You can't tell me there's one there's not one person in the war, in the history of your life that like hurt you. I, I feel I feel like Josh might have a bigger issue with me. Um, I think no. I think I think I think that's I think you're projecting. Uh, 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 no, come on. One, how many? How many? I mean, what, what, like, I'm not even going to assume. Like, like what? You, you've had relationships, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, was there one that ended that you didn't want to end? Uh, I suppose that's probably true. Yeah. Uh, and, and when uh, you did your podcast tour across the country, um, <laughs> when there are, there are, there are stresses you, you that arose, how did you deal with it? <laughs> I love your podcast. Uh, uh, the best cast. Uh, great. This is going down a uh, down a bad road. This is not a Harmontown. This is not a road to Harmontown. <laughs> I'm, ce I'm celebrating as that. He, he he booed love. We brought him up. We're not we're not we're not going down his wardrobe. We're not we're just, we want to get to know him, talk to him, try to break through to something human. <laughs> No, no, I don't want to hug him. Um, no, I, I, I think this is a nice thing to talk about. Josh, uh, why do you feel our love ruined the podcast? Uh, it, 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 like, the podcast was going, uh, and it was a lot of fun, and then it just kind of hit this weird train wreck, and, uh, I don't know. It's okay, guys. It's true. It's, it's true. true. I, I, I'm just saying, you know, I Yeah. I was kind of into it. I liked it, but I guess it was about me. I guess if it was about someone else's relationship, I'd be like, I don't know. I, don't know. I can't. I can't really listen to it through 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 anyone else's ears, though. I don't. I didn't know. It was probably it was probably like a half hour longer than it needed to be. Like talk, in terms of talking about relationships. I mean, to be honest, I listened to the entire thing. So I mean, it's not like I turned it off. You were you were riveted. <laughs> Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm sorry for uh, making the podcast not funny. You, I, Josh is mad at me, Dan, I'm telling you. <laughs> He's mad at you? Yes, he is. It's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm the girlfriend who came on stage and, and, uh, and, and was in a tizzy. And if as I explained in the Chicago podcast, I was upset about a previous fight and things. Can you know, I talk to you guys through an alternate scenario? <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Dancing in the crowd, talking to people. Something 
what happens is about love. Some bunch of people start sharing. Feeling the need to break the mold, he moves whatever reaction is being cheered. Right. Called out by Dan, he acquiesces, coming up on stage, proceeds to fail to answer the questions you want to ask, and when he comes to a question he can ask, he answers in a way he hopes will be entertaining, and is then torn apart for it. <laughs> I think we're all just wrong vulnerable up here, you guys. It's yeah. Fine. Well, I know, and, and this isn't a dig, but I know that everything that you say up here, Josh, as you're speaking honestly about your feelings, you're going to make sure that it's hilarious. Uh, I like it when people laugh. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm just kidding. I, I, I'm sorry for a bad, uh, bad podcast not being very funny. You, you, already, you already said that. Um, uh, yeah. So, so but in order for Josh to be mad at you, I think Josh would have to be in love with me. Like, like <laughs> he's mad at our relationship. He doesn't think that it makes for entertaining. Like, he was like, "Well, we were having fun in the Pittsburgh show, and then all of a sudden we were talking about things that are kind of like, kind of common, probably like the sound of a man and a woman, like." Like, like going back and forth about who hurt who more and who needs to change and who doesn't need to change. It's kind of like, for some people might be riveting and for other people, um, uh, uh, inaccessible. <coughs> Virgins! <laughs> that, was, that, was a, that was a dumb, obvious, easy joke, it's stupid. Uh, uh, but, uh, all right, yeah, I think, I think Spencer's theory is, is, is the most accurate. I think that, uh, I, think, I think Josh is, is dressed, just dressed perfectly. We're all, we're all good human beings. Aaron's doing a great job. I thought the Pittsburgh show was excellent. Uh, uh, un unpredictable turns and all. And, uh, and I do want to say to Josh, and I said this in the Chicago show, but if there's any worry that Dan was going to censor himself because I, I uh, talked about something that bummed me out, he definitely isn't. And that's an understandable fear, and I'm sorry about that. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Josh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for also Matt, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, we can have poor Matt. Oh, Matt, I'm Wait, so Matt, sorry. Matt, Matt, Matt come up here for a second. <laughs> Yay, Matt! For, for you guys listening in the audience, uh, in, in, in podcast land, like, like Matt is the name of the guy that was on Spencer's team during. <laughs> during a sound effects game show that may or may not be in the, the edited show you're listening to, he was put on a team with Spencer and has, and has been standing behind me uh, next to Spencer just kind of hanging out uh, <laughs> this entire time. Uh, yeah. But it's hard, it's hard to tell if we edit out Josh or the, the audio game show or the, you know, we don't, we don't know what will, what, will, what will be frog DNA and what will be dinosaur DNA. <laughs> so, or so after the show, stuff. will it just seem like no one was comfortable? Right, right. <laughs> or, or, or there was no show. Like, it'll be like ladies and gentlemen, good night. <laughs> uh, Matt, like, 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 I think you, you, you've paid your dues. What, 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 let's, let's, let's get to know you and touch your, touch your heart. What are, are you from Minneapolis? I am from Minneapolis. What do you do? What do you do here? I'm a writer. You're a writer. Oh, wow. What kind of writing? I'm a corporate writer. Oh, what is that? Oh, now get specific. What is that? What, what does that entail? What? Business writer, advertising, that kind of thing. Like a gun for hire, or you work for a company? I work for a company. Can you say which one? I can't. Okay. Uh, Microsoft. Yeah. Microsoft? Um, uh, uh, there we go. What? What? Um, what? Wait, no, not really. Shut up. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> if, if someone says they can't say what they who they work for, and then they go oh, the CIA, I, 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 it could be true. I don't know. I, um, no, you just don't want to. It's McDonald's or something, and you don't want to be on a podcast saying. I like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, we did a show in Chicago, and I was kind of like, like, oh, so I just started talking about the people I'm working for, and uh, I, uh, that hasn't podcast yet, but I, I cringe a little bit when I hear it. It's awesome, though, so it has to go out there. But, but, but I, unlike you, I, I make my living getting fired. Like, like that, is, uh, that is my livelihood uh, in, a, in, a, in a roundabout way. I just, I, I, I'm, I'm like a weird kind of like a frog with, with an ass for a head that, that jumps. Just, <laughs> uh, 
What's your favorite, favorite movie? Uh, you know, I mean, uh, th th a favorite movie. I hate it when people ask that, too. Okay, um, a favorite movie, A Serious Man. A Serious Man. Oh, I have serious to admit, that is a great movie. Yeah. That's uh, I've only I've seen it once, but yeah, I like that movie. Which Red Owl played a part in. Fuck you. Red Owl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, now we got another. Okay, who said <laughs> fuck you really angrily to... What? Uh, a, a silly man said, fuck you. I mean, I, I, Wait, come, come, please come up. For, <laughs> like, I, I mean, I'm going to make this assumption about, about a Harmontown audience that, that even though on paper someone yelling out, fuck you, come up, come uh, here, sir. Uh, shouldn't be rewarded at maybe a regular come show, but usually, usually people here have something What's on their mind. Name? My name's Joe. Hi, Joe. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Joe, what, explain, explain the reaction. Thank you for welcoming me to Harmontown. Uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, Joe. Hold I'm on, Joe. Control control control. Disaster. <laughs> yeah. uh, Spencer, Spencer, narrate this. All right, this. I got. Okay. <laughs> me versus the microphone. They just fix the microphone for the podcast listeners. We got it. All right, I feel important. <laughs> So what do we do? Joe, what, 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 you're going to tell people why you yelled fuck you out. What were you yelling fuck you in response to? Uh, honestly? No, not honestly. Lie to us. Huh, this guy, right guys? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, it was strictly to get on stage. Wait, so you were uh, really saying fuck you? Right. You're, gonna, you're but now, kind of giving me better minds a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so this is an interesting phenomenon here. I want to. I want to. No, no, no. Everyone, shut up and press. I'm going to press pause here for a second because this is a very, very interesting thing that's happening here, for the second time in a row. So we finally hit this point. In Harmontown, people who, who who like say things in the audience that have they're compelled to say things, they get to come up on stage and and, and we talk to them until we get to know them. And now we've reached this point where that's the second guy who just like like Spencer said, like someone wants to be different from the pack. They're, they're like specifically saying things so that they can come up on stage. And we're, at which point we're wringing a dry rag, <laughs> just talking to a person. Hey, what do you want? We're like, to be on stage, <laughs> to have my name exist, <laughs> to to stand. Um, Is that really true? Are you really saying that? In I'm not a dry <laughs> Okay, that was dehumanizing. I apologize. Uh, but but your motivation was not. You didn't want to come up and talk about a serious man being his favorite movie. You not just at all. you said fuck you. <laughs> this for the same reason that Josh booed love. You said fuck you. No no fuck fuck Josh for booing love. Now yeah, there you're changing your story. Not all of that, Josh. Yeah. All right. All right, you sit down. Uh, uh, <laughs> Thank you for coming up here. Maybe uh, uh, tonight and maybe in further shows, instead of yelling something like, fuck you, maybe say like, bananas in my pants, or like something uh, obscure. All right, bananas in my pants guy, come up here. All right. All right. All right. Hammer uh, over uh, this way. Sorry. I I thought like a dozen people would say it like at the same time. Okay, all right. Oh. All right that was a misfire. Okay, okay. So you're you're a team player. What, what, what's your name, fella? Uh, my name is Jaffer. It's okay if you don't get it on the first Jaffer? Try. Yeah. No, oh, no, you got it on the first try. That's awesome. Yeah, all right. Like like a like an exotic gaffer. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. I, I apply tape to things and in an, an exotic way, an exotic brownstone way. Thank you. Oh, what what do you what do you do, Jaffer? Oh, uh, well, I gave Spencer my card. I'm, in, I'm the event coordinator for Fantasy Flight Games, and I, I gave them Is that, is that like planes that have jungles in them? What is that? What is Fantasy Flight? Oh, Fantasy Flight Games is a uh, hobby game company. Um, we are uh, located in Rhode This is so, it's like sales tax. Well, no, I mean, you, you are, you, I mean, this is a, this are they this is your, games your crowd. Uh, this is a no, no. We're we're tabletop games, role playing games, board oh, really? games. Oh, yeah. cool! I love games. Which is why I gave Spencer <laughs> my card. I, oh, okay. Oh, this, this is this is so weird. <laughs> I, didn't, I really didn't expect this to happen. He just thought he thought everyone would yell bananas. Fuck! Fuck! 
All right. That's why you're a hero. Fine. All right. He played. You know, he already. He already got his plug. Is the name of his store. If you're in Minneapolis and you and you and you no, do, do we're, things. We're, we're, we're a publisher. We publish games. All right. God damn it. So <laughs> Jaffer, everybody. Thank you. All right, Jaffer. Jaffer loves bananas in his game. All right. All right, Matt. We were talking about your favorite movie. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, no, 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 no. All right. Let's hear it for Matt. Also, ladies and gentlemen, he loves a simple, uh, a simple man. All right. Okay. Well, not a uh, not a good idea to work the crowd. A little bit of, mis of a mistake. No. Fuck happened. you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, absolutely fuck you. Uh, 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 no more, no more, no more Q&A. Uh, uh, you know, I, there's a time of every, uh, there's a time during every Harmon show where the end of my nose starts to tingle and my, my oh, lips. Oh, they have to go back to the powder room? No, no. no, no. <laughs> my lips start to plump and I, I start feeling stronger and um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's D and D time. Should I pass on the characters? Yes, please dispense the yes. character, Spencer. All right, then we entertain. Hey, everybody! This really is a, a wonderful city and a cool space. So, got any of? Hated the guy in the, with the UCB hat up front. It's cool. I don't know. Oh, just saying hello. <laughs> Stay where you are. We'll talk after. I screwed up this music. I'm sorry. I'll do it over again for. What's the other? Group. What's the other? What's the other? Uh, the Twin Cities is the Saint Saint Paul. Yeah. So you guys all know Garrison Keillor. No. Is that a hack joke? <laughs> so you hate Garrison Keillor. Whoa. Um, no, I'm sorry. Who? Who? Garrison Keillor. You. Why, why do you, what's your name? He talks too slow? Is that your only reason for disliking him? Does anyone have a better reason for disliking Garrison Keillor? Yes. Yeah, that is a little annoying. Gary, she, she said he sings. That's true. Like he puts himself in everything. Yeah, it is. It's his show. Says says Arthur Keeler in the in the back row. If you if you've just joined us, uh, Aaron asked, uh, "Do you guys like Garrison Keeler uh, to uh, 225 girls?" <laughs> Who shockingly replied no. There is there is a mixed reaction. The answer the answer to the, to the question why not is uh, he's 109 years old. He, his show is 70 hours long. Uh, he he sings and talks about uh, 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 being in a city. Uh, he's, uh, he's 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 the Dan Harmon of the future. <laughs> Uh, but then everyone started yelling at each other. One, then one guy, I'm, I'm, I'm relating this to the podcast people because I don't even hear people in the audience. Then another guy said, it's his fucking show about Garrison Keillor. Like kind of a punk rock guy sticking up for Garrison Keillor. And, and then people were going back and forth. Um, and then now, now you're all caught up if you're listening to this in podcast form. Uh, I like that guy. Um, he likes rhubarb, rhubarb pie and uh, powder milk business. Rhubarb pie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dan, can you do a, uh, a, a monologue as Garrison Keillor about your day? Oh, wow. Well, I'd, I'd like to do it about rhubarb pie. <laughs> Uh, Jimmy, do you hear your dog's marriage in shirt right now? I woke up this morning. Uh, in Lake Wobegon, uh, with a tremendous erection. <laughs> You're Bane from uh, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just go with it. Be Bane as Garrison Keillor, as you. My cock, Batman, <laughs> is stronger than your body. <laughs> 
right, very good. Let's 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 do some let's do some D and D. Oh well, I really like Obergon. Gotham. Lake Gotham. The people will no longer shout for rhubarb pie. Margaret made her famous fruit cake and brought it over to the Jacobson's house for what promised to be a perfectly ordinary Thanksgiving. <laughs> The embers were warm. The crime was rampant. And the justice was ultimately mine. All right. Good to hear it, everybody. That's the news from Lake Gotham, <laughs> where the children are victims. <laughs> The poor are enslaved, <laughs> and everyone's spirit will be broken. There we go. That's great. <laughs> the indeed transition. See All right, Spencer. Uh, yeah, yeah, tell, tell, us, tell us, us what happened. Uh, uh, catch, catch us up in D&D land. When we last met our heroes, deep within the infinite we're journeying with Valus and the swordsman to the digestive tract of the beast. After defeating a mysterious ice dog monster, the group split up, each traveling down a different passage. Mulrain fell down a slippery slide, while Bork found a strange organ hanging from the ceiling. Using the mysterious silver staff, Sharby climbed up into a lattice of veins and tubules before finding a mysterious membranous wall. Bork and Mulrain caught back up with Sharpie, and together the group entered the large organ. Immediately, a blob of sickly yellow ooze dripped down, and of several lightning spiders skittered into the organ from above. It was time to fight. Alright, less dramatically, let me set the stage. You guys have just slashed through the wall of a giant organ and climbed inside, and a large blob of goo dropped down from the ceiling. And uh, it was followed by like sparks of light that kind of skittered around as if they had spidery limbs. Right, right. So, in this episode, do we pretend Jeff isn't there, or do we? For the purposes of this uh, this episode, Quark will be played by Spencer Crittenden. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Hey, Quark's gonna like Moraine in this episode. Yeah. Who knows what's gonna happen? Yeah. Let's work together. Take notes, man. Let's glue our arms together for life so when Jeff comes back, we're uh, one at the end. <laughs> Just an idea. <laughs> Alright, so there's are spider creatures. There's spider lightning creatures and a multi limbed blob on the ground. Multi limbed blob, blob spider, lightning spider creatures. That just, I'm sorry. Sounds like a day at the office. <laughs> oh. Tasted what Rob Schneider had for lunch uh, <laughs> last last Wednesday. Since there are the are the uh, are the lightning spiders trying to attack us? As it happens, the lightning spiders are crawling over the cut that you slashed in the wall, and they're sewing it back together. Hmm. The slimy blob whips around a tendril or two, and goo is cast all about the organ. It seems like it's going to be hard to move about. Mm. Well, I, I appreciate the craftiness. Yeah. Because the goo is sticky? Or you, you, you haven't touched it, but uh, goo tends to be. <laughs> you have you have been in my goo. Oh, damn. Smooth as silk. Yeah. <laughs> Slippery as a, a baby in January. Chewy as blueberry falcon. Um. And then, and then, okay, all right, okay. Uh, all right. And there's no way we're getting out of this room without either retreating, which doesn't even seem possible because of the holes being sewn up, or confronting something. Like, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not able to be the coward that I'd like to be. Correct. Okay. Two, the lightning 
creatures approach. I shoot two arrows! At the lion creatures! What kind of arrows? Adventure arrows? No, you have a special kind of arrows. Just shooting regular arrows, good arrows, sleep arrows. No, I I see. Uh, does good just mean like good skill or like um, I'm, I'm a good person? It does extra damage action. against evil creatures. Okay, what, what I shoot two good arrows. All right. What was that? Sorry. He told, I remember him telling you there was a type of arrow you had that is optimized for multiple arrows. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that true? That's true. Uh, <laughs> I already rolled the uh, dice. Um, the arrows? One of your good arrows strikes the lightning directly in the center of mass and does six damage. Spencer, are my, are my, uh, my double arrows the V arrows? Yeah, V arrows. Okay, cool. Sorry. Yeah, yep. What, what about her second arrow? <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this. That just uh, missed. Oh, okay. It didn't go into anything comically. Right. It went to heaven. God ate it. All right, uh, uh, now, sir, I, I have to warn you. <laughs> I don't know if you're the Brooklyn show, but after giving away the Frost to the theme song, we found out it is a level zero spell that does a maximum of three damage. Um, we're we're going to need to get start getting enthusiastic about what I'm told is my most powerful uh, spell. Scorching Ray! Kids started laughing at me at the urinal because I, I, I didn't know until sixth grade that you're not, when you pee at a urinal, you're not supposed to pull your underwear and pants all the way down your ankles and pee like a little, a little cartoon. Like a little rock 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 Sorry, Mr. pipes up. Hey, guys. Well, I have a frog in my throat, but I'm ready to fight. I'm a barbarian. I fight things. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 I tell Quark to go into uh, 
uh, uh, uh, a kind of zen state where the universe, aka the dungeon master, kind of optimizes his, uh, his behavior, his choices. I, I don't know about that. I thought I might just go into a barbarian rage. Yeah! But first, you, you gotta, if, if something happens to me, you gotta, you gotta take my smoke sticks. I'm, I'm trying to quit, but... Here, we'll grab your smoke sticks. Oh, okay. Grabbing his smoke sticks, he whips out his sword. His muscles rise and grow in mass as he falls into the barbarian rage. Red goes over his eyes as all semblance of reason exits his head, and he charges himself directly at the slime monster. And he misses. Oh. Sharpie. Yes? I know this might be dangerous, but um, I have a few... I have, I have 20, but I can only shoot two at a time. I have the arrows? Yeah, yeah, yeah those are optimized for shooting a ball more than one. What? <laughs> no, what? What? Uh, I shoot two vagina arrows. <laughs> directly on Sharpie's face. No! You take six damage and you have a thing on your face. <laughs> That's a secondary effect. Yep. Uh, I only have 24 hit points total. Was I at full health before this fight started? Yeah, you, you got some of those crystals from uh, the broken healing pendant, so you guys are all at full health. Okay. So, what do I get an animal? Uh, I want to say fourth level, maybe fifth. So today? We, uh, no. Uh -huh. I'm gonna util utilize the powers of the secret and just say I'd like him. I'd like him. Can you get this thing off my face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I take a single um, sure shot arrow. Oh, okay. Is that a thing? Did I write that? Oh yeah. Uh, it says always hits every time, and I'm my Spencer, and I'm gonna give you a spirit animal. So great, baby. Oh, here. Um, you fire the arrow directly into your foot. <laughs> okay, all right, I shoot, a, I shoot a good arrow. Did you really have an arrow that said sure shot? No. <laughs> Aaron! <That's> Aaron! <laughs> I know you There's a lot of arrows. pressure in the couch color. A lot of pressure in the couch color. No, I'm not a lawyer. Oh, Aaron. I shoot a baby arrow into Sharpie's heart. Um, I shoot a, uh, I shoot a good arrow. Okay. I shoot a good arrow. Okay. And I shoot it good. At his face? No, I shoot, I shoot it at the spider. On his face? Well, if it's on his face right now, then yes. Yeah, but there's also other spiders, so I mean. Well, the one, the one that is, is most threatening, Sharpie. So the one on his face. I'm just, this clarification is important. Yes, the one on his face. Unless there's another one that's threatening him more. Nope. Um, pulling an arrow from your quiver, you lose it directly at his face. Oh no! You seem to think this might not be the best of ideas. Spencer! This was your idea! I couldn't have been more elucidated. Like, uh, you guys had a 10 minute conversation over whether you're going to shoot me in the fucking face. It strikes the lightning spider in one of his several spidery limbs. He takes five damage. At least that's something I didn't hit you in the face. Wounded, the animal skitters away. Oh. Hey! Uh, yeah! Holy Fuck you, doubters. Charles Burroughs, what was his name? <laughs> the slime whips a wicked tendril directly at Mulrain. It 
it strikes you right in the leg and grasps. You feel the burn of acid against your flesh and you take eight damage. Uh -huh. yeah, I guess I deserve this. You're also being rabble. No. Oh. That means stuff. What? That means stuff, but I mean, yeah. I like rules wise, but don't worry about it. I can't, I can't, I keep forgetting what mage hand is. It lets you telekinetically move around light objects. Right, Frost, sir, come on, you're, 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 I mean, why don't you marry it? It's a maximum three hit point damage spell. It is a Scorching Frost! It's not, it's Scorching Ray, sir. Uh, at, at, at this point in the podcast, I'd like to implore anyone either named Ray Frost or from a town called Frost named Ray to uh, come to the podcast because you will be there will be a crown on your head. If there was a spell called Scorching Frost, don't you think that the net effect of it would be minimal? Scorching, scorching Frost is a glass of water. <laughs> I, I want to cast Burning Hands if it's my turn on, on the grappling tentacle and try to get to release its grip for my face shooting girlfriend. Fanning her hands wide, you emit a thin flame sheet. Of flame. It deals nine damage and slices the tentacle in half. He critically hits! We call that the Mitch Hurwitz. Dealing 22 damage and felling the slime. Only four lightning spiders remain. Hmm. All right. They scuttle to the ceiling. Well, all right. Well, it sounds like they're getting out of our way. Well, they, they are. They're out of your way now. Now you're in an organ. So the, ten so the tentacle thing is done? The tentacle thing is done. Spiders on the ceiling. They're, they're just kind of watching at this point. Right. Well, uh, uh, we should get out of this, out of this room. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lung. lung. It's a lung. Yeah, yeah someone's been paying attention. <laughs> Prince Valison pipes up. Hey guys, we came around to destroy this fish from the inside, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, are you gonna say so you wanna destroy it from the inside? <laughs> I'm saying let's slice this mother up! But also, somebody, somebody in the audience yelled out smokesticks. If, if, if we're sitting in the lung, like, like, let's, let's, let's yule burner this motherfucker. <laughs> It's almost as if I set you up for it all along. I know, you said slices. Right. Yeah, right. Throwing the pack of smoke sticks on I, the ground. And I, we do that, and then I also light on my torches. Lighting your torches in unison with the throwing of the smoke sticks. Acrid smoke is released into the lung. You hear violent spasms for a while. <laughs> We should, we should, we should, maybe, I don't know if, I don't know if they're going to get out of here or stay and be coughed up or. Uh. Let's see next time. Cliffhanger. Okay, fine. Yeah, get out of here. All right. Special ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thanks, Spencer. Gathering his character sheets. The fucking black figure and his red tartan, uh, sweat jacket. Proceeds off the stage and into the 20 below weather, wearing his shorts from Los Angeles. You don't know if he'll live or die. His beard seems scarf-like, but will it save him from hypothermia? He's entitled to a save versus... That was an okay. All right. It's all right. Working out the case. Do you want me to leave the stage? Uh, no. no, no, you don't have to. Just, just make sure. I never want you to leave the stage. Thanks to you guys. I want, not only do I not want you to leave the stage, I want you to get into my bed. 
for the podcast listeners, there is a very expensive heart-shaped bed raising on a platform right now. With pyrotechnics going off all around it. And Isaac Hayes is playing a keyboard in the corner. You just put on you. <laughs> Spencer, get into my bed. Gonna fuck your mama in the head. Put my dick into her Spencer mom's eye. I rolled her pussy die. Yo. Rolled her pussy die and got a three and a four. Added it up and got a bonus and more. With my horrible dick, I wanna put it in it. I put her. Put my dick in your mama's cave and dungeon it. I went down to the spelunk to the desk, fucked your mama so hard she looked like death. She was a skull and bones, I fucked your mama so hard she said, Don't leave me alone. Spencer's daddy came in and said, What's going on? I said, Holy shit. Sorry. <laughs> Jerry, I fucked your mama 
step back and think about it. There's nothing funny about it. I'm sorry, I have to really reveal some dark shit. But it's a dark city. Now you can come back. Come on down to Harlem Town, Rocky. Tell me.